Browns get ready for their game three of the preseason, a key game. I was thinking about their linebackers, and it really came to me when I was watching game two last week against Buffalo. Jamie Collins playing with the second string. You know, Jamie Collins is their highest paid linebacker. What was he doing out there with the second string? My feeling is probably right now, three guys are playing ahead of him and playing better. That's probably the message Greg Williams is sending to Jamie Collins. Those three are Joe Schobert. He made the Pro Bowl last year. Michael Kendricks, he was a free agent, signed from Philadelphia. And they brought him in, and he has been very impressive. And Kristen Kirksey, who is a linebacker, signed a very lucrative extension. So really, the starting linebackers, most of us projected at the start of camp, were Collins and Kirksey and Schobert. But Michael Kendricks brought in, I think, has kind of upended that a little bit. And there is actually another guy. Sometimes he plays linebacker and sometimes he plays defensive end, but he's a guy that, a rookie that the defensive coaches have really fallen in love with. His name is Gennard Avery. Avery from Memphis, a fifth round pick. In fact, he started. And this makes me wonder. Let's throw Avery into the group. Now you got five linebackers. Greg Williams likes to play three. Sometimes he'll even play two. Could the Browns be using one of these linebackers possibly in a trade towards the end of camp. I would like to say that was my idea originally, but Dan Lobby from Cleveland.com just kind of mentioned, they got all these guys, maybe they could trade one. And the more I thought about it, and the more I saw Collins with the second team, I wondered. Now, there is an asterisk next to Collins and his performance that must be mentioned. He is coming off uh, some knee surgery. So that it may take a while for him to get all the way back, and perhaps that's why he's with the second team. But I have to admit, from the moment he came here in a trade from New England, that was in the middle of the 2016 season, then last year he signed a big contract to stay, I just kind of expected more from him, more big plays, just expected to notice him more in the middle of things. Uh, so that's a guy to keep an eye on. Thursday night. See what's going on with Jamie Collins. And down the line, let's see what happens with these linebackers because um, I'm not saying it's embarrassment or riches, but isn't too often we talk about the Browns having a lot of talent at any spot on the field. It may be in excess, and that's true with their linebackers.